Hi guys, Kelly here to share some mixed media canvas boards with you today and they are my DT project for Star Crafters and please remember if you place an order with Star Crafters to use my coupon code which is KellyFans at the checkout for 5% off when you spend $30 or more and of course this is a start to finish video and I'm really excited to share these boards with you so let's get started. These boards were a gift from a friend of mine called Leanne. Thank you very much, Leanne, who's Gadget Girlish here on YouTube. And I actually decided to use all three of them for this project. And I'm just starting by covering them all in two coats of gesso. dry I come in with a random dots stencil and this is just from my stash and it's not in the packaging unfortunately so I can't tell you what the brand is and I decide to use that just with some white molding paste over all three of the boards so in the centre of one and on one side of one on one side of the other. So I put those to one side and begin with my embellishments and the things you can see in front of me from Star Crafters, that's a chipboard clock there and a chipboard frame which says I am totally in love around it and I've just coated them in a couple of coats of gesso and what you can see me doing here is just picking some random flowers from my stash, ones that I don't like the colour of very much and I'm just coating them in a coat of gesso as well. and I begin adhering some ribbon around the side of one of the chipboard clocks as you can see there and with that ribbon which is just from my stash is a box pleated trim I also cover that in some gesso as well because I actually plan on spraying everything with sprays later on so I just want as much sort of primer really on my project as I can get so I've just put all those to one side and I'm bringing my canvases back in and I'm currently just trying to work out where I want everything and how much gesso I want and what have you that there is one of Star Crafters cherubs that I just put in the middle and then another smaller one that I just put down to one side and I'm painting now and I'm also going ahead and covering those in some gesso as well. And all these Star Crafters products that I have used will be listed in the description box below as always. So I'm just adding a little bit of lace from my stash to this side of um, the clock face now as I decided that it was a little bit unbalanced having ribbon on one side but not on the other but what I've gone for is a different type of ribbon because although I want all three of these boards to go together to make one art piece I don't want them to look exactly the same. fabric to begin adhering my pieces down and I've started by adhering that clock face on one side and then I'm going to adhere the other clock face on the other side and I've, as you can see I've also picked out a photo there that I really like for the centre that I want to go under the frame so I'm um, just adhering the bottom of the frame down to start with so that I can slide the photo in around the side later. Then here I am using some uh, ribbon and I believe Marcia, who is sent to us one here on YouTube, sent me that. Thank you very much Marcia. And I'm just using that in the background for a bit of texture and I'm just adhering that down also with my fabric tack. actually use a little bit more of that ribbon later and what I find is that I sort of tear and rip it up a bit so that I've got a bit bit more texture sticking out here and there as I don't really like too many of the flat edges on this ribbon.
heavy body gel medium just to adhere that netting down and my plan here is just to add some more texture throughout the whole entire project so I just cut it into sort of strips and lumps and just stick it randomly all over wherever I feel needs a bit of texture. from my stash and again this is just really for some extra added texture and I also go over that with a little bit of gesso and then once again I'm just playing around with the placement of my items and trying to work out what exactly I want and where exactly I want them. So then I took some of these um, stickers, bling stickers from my stash that are also from Marcia, thank you Marcia, and I adhere them over my project and again just for the texture and I go over them with quite a thick coat of gesso because I don't want that colour to show it's not the colour I'm going for but the texture they give is fabulous and although I end up covering up a lot of the texture in the end you can still see a lot of it in the background so please stay tuned for the still photos where you'll get to see that all a lot more up close and it looks really pretty the way it ends up. shimmers pink uh, and that's a vibes pink and I am using a shimmers uh, jean blue or denim blue I believe it is I'm sorry I don't have them to hand um, and what I do is I spray them on and then I add some water and I make them run and I use a little tiny bit of a darker pink as well but they're all shimmers colors that I'm using um, but I don't want the colors to come out too bright so I do dab them down with a little bit of tissue just to dull them down a little bit and I'm just spraying those colours sort of randomly and then in some cases I use a different blue, a darker blue and I sort of let that mix a little bit with the pink to make sort of a purpley shade and it turns out really really pretty. So once all that's dry I go ahead and adhere my photo down because I do actually want to spray my flowers as well but I want to spray my flowers and my cherubs whilst they're on the project so at this point I adhere the photo down and then what I do is actually use a baby wipe to cover it up when I go ahead and spray again later but I'm happy that I've got the base spray done and the base colours are there. And I actually end up using some smaller flowers than the ones I painted white first of all so I'm going to have to go back and cover those in gesso shortly. Then I'm just picking a few things out of my stash and trying to work out where exactly I want things to go and how well they go together. placement of all my items I begin adhering those down with Fabri-Tac. Then as I mentioned earlier I go ahead and gesso everything up and once the gesso is dry I will go back in with the same sprays I used earlier and if you are interested what colours I use please do let me know and I will go and have a look for you um, and I will reply to any comment that asks me what colours they were. That little tag I'm using there is just a Prima tag from my stash um, from one of the collections that I bought recently. I just thought it went really nicely with this project to make sure that your eyes sort of flowed through all three canvases to make sure they were all tied together as one piece. Once 
all the gessos dry, I get a baby wipe to cover my photos, you can see there, and I go back in with the coloured sprays I used earlier. However, this time obviously I'm spraying my cherub embellishments and my flowers and everything as well. I'm trying not to let the colours run too much so I'm sort of trying to dry as much as I can between colours other than in the places that I want the blue and pink to mix to make the more purple tone. As I'm doing this I notice that some places have more texture than others so I actually go back and get some more of the white cloth I used earlier and just cut some more out and stick some more in some other places and then what I've done there is I've just cut some leaf shapes out of it and I go ahead and add them into the background. Then I'm using a paintbrush and some ink in white just to drip so there's a few white drips here and there. And here again I'm just adding those leaves to the other side. stamps and they're also from my friend Leanne who gave me the canvas boards and I go in and begin stamping just randomly all over the project just to give it a bit more of a mixed media feel and I use more than one of the flower shapes I use all three sizes of them eventually then I also use a little uh, banner one that you can see me using there which is a banner with little hearts in the centre and it just looks so pretty and gives it something a bit extra to look at everything just to mute all the colours and to mute down the dark colour of the ink that I've just used and that really perfectly gave me the look that I was going for I really liked the dulled down colours so the last thing for me to do now really to complete my project is to grab a small paintbrush and some gesso and just to go round the edges of some of the flowers with the gesso just to really highlight the areas that I want highlighted and make the things stand out that I want to stand out and you'll see that a lot better in the still photos coming up shortly and that about finishes my project if you have any questions or would like to make a comment or a thumbs up please do please let me know if you have any questions I'll do my best to respond thank you very very much for watching and I'll see you all again soon bye everyone